One of the most common misconceptions about our experiential therapies that we use here is that these are new. Uh, they're actually based on ancient practices. They've stayed with us for quite a long time. We try to get to the underlying causes and conditions of the individual that's seeking out these self-destructive behaviors. So it doesn't matter if it's substance abuse, self-harm, depression, anxiety. We believe fundamentally there's an underlying cause and condition that needs to be addressed, and that's our focus. There's no real expectation other than their wellness. And sometimes that can be a big expectation to place on these kids. Um, but we're really honest and very um, sensitive to the fact that they love you as you are. We also focus on experiential therapies such as adventure therapy, equine assisted therapy, yoga, meditation, martial arts, and horticultural therapy. Typically their first experience in nature with us is just going out on the property. And what we do in that environment is just encourage them to notice. What do they see? What do they, what are their senses telling them about that space? And then as uh, they stay here longer, we'll go deeper into the woods, uh, literally and figuratively. And that I think is a unique experience for most kids these days in an environment of adults. Um, there's a lot of pressure on kids these days to be something. Um, they're humans in preparation to be human, not quite there. We don't, we don't believe that. We believe they're here whole as they are. To be creative enough and bold enough to know this is my purpose in life moving forward. And I think that's what's most important here in Newport is to help the kids find that.